Because I believe this is the story of life. I believe it's your story. I believe it's the story of America. I believe it's the story of success. I got a couple of good friends who many, many years ago were riding around in the South Alabama foothills. It was a hot August day, and uh, they got thirsty. Bernard Haygood was driving. Jimmy Glenn was the passenger. They pulled behind this old abandoned farmhouse, and uh, Bernard hopped out. He ran over, and there was an old... Uh, pump on the well, and he grabbed the handle, and he started the pump. How many of you have ever used one of these old-fashioned water pumps? Can I see your hand, please? Okay, well, he had just a pump in a way, you know, and after about three or four minutes, he said, Jimmy, better get that old bucket over there and dip some water out of the creek. We're going to have to prime the pump. How many of you know what I'm talking about when I say you got to prime the pump? Well, for you underprivileged non-pumpers, that just means you got to put something in here before you get something out there. See, unfortunately, a lot of people stand in front of the stove of life and they say, now, stove, you give me some heat, then I'll put some wood in here. That ain't the way it works. You got to put something in before you can get anything out. So many times, you know, the employee goes to the employer and says, give me a raise, then I'll start coming to work on time. Or so many times, uh, they will come to him and say, make me the boss. Now, I know I haven't been here very long, don't really deserve to be the boss, but I just function better when I am in charge of things. You reward me now, and then I promise you, I'll learn what this business is all about later on. Reward me now, and I'll produce later. It doesn't work that way. Can't you just see a youngster in school saying, Teacher, if I take a failing grade home, my parents are going to skin me alive. Pass me on this quarter, and next time I'll study more than anybody else. Reward me now. I'll produce later. It doesn't work that way. Can't you just see an old farmer standing out in the fields in October and saying, Lord, I know I didn't plant a thing this year, but if you give me a big crop this year, I'll plant more than anybody next year. It ain't that way, folks. You got to put something in before you can expect to get anything out. Well, he's just a pumping away. You know, that's hot. It's August. I mean, uh, the question is just how much pumping are you going to do for a drink of water? And finally, old Bernard said, you know, Jimmy, I don't believe it's any water down there. Jimmy said, yeah, it is, Bernard. You know, in South Alabama, the wells are deep. And, oh, we're glad they're deep because the deeper the well, the cooler, the cleaner, the sweeter, the purer, the better tasting the water. And isn't that true of life? Isn't it true that if you could become an MD by six weeks of summer school, that the rewards would be almost minimal or nothing? And how many patients would you have? Isn't it true that if you become a sales expert in three days of a training school, well, that the rate of pay would go down rather radically? Isn't it true that anything worth doing is worth doing poorly? Until you can learn to do it well. We'll never know how many kids have missed a college scholarship because they didn't study an average of 10 more minutes a day. We will never know how we come so close to promotion, but we grew discouraged and quit too soon. We'll never know how much more success we would have had had we just had a little more pumping in there and pump and pump and pump and pump. Well, finally, old Bernard just got disgusted. He threw up his hand. He said, Jimmy, there's just no water down there. Jimmy said, don't stop, Bernard. Don't stop. If you stop, the Water's going to go all the way back down, and then you're going to have to start all over. The reality is, folks, and I'm totally convinced of this, this is the story of America. This is your story. This is the story of success. This is the story of life. I believe with all of my heart that if you will pump long enough and hard enough and enthusiastically enough, that eventually the reward is going to follow the effort, and then once that water starts to flow... All you got to do is just keep a little easy, steady pressure on it, and you're going to get more water than you can possibly use. The basic problem is this. So many times people get involved in something, and they'll say, well, I'll give it a try, and if it works out, that'll be good, and if it, if it doesn't work out, I mean, hey, I ain't going to kill myself. You know what I mean, fella? Well, I got to tell you something, folks. You're going to pump forever like that before anything happens. When you get into something, grab that sucker and get with it, and then once the water starts to flow, then, ladies and gentlemen, that's what Strategies for Success is all about. Sigler. Sigler. Inspiring true performance.